hello everyone in this video let us take a look at uh, confluence so i have been uh, using uh, jira cloud uh, the free version of jira cloud for quite a while now and uh, i'm quite uh, happy because i don't really need to pay for it which is of course a good thing but uh, i also signed up for a cloud confluence instance and uh, along with the cloud i have of course uh, bitbucket uh, as well that i will also uh, you know use later on so i'll show you how to use uh, jira confluence and bitbucket all these three tools together on the cloud now let us you know quickly take a look at cloud and uh, uh, and do some uh, configurations or maybe just you know start using it so when you sign up for of course jira you have the option to also uh, sign up for confluence and if you go to the left hand side sidebar of your uh, uh, cloud application you have the op option to switch to maybe uh, jira software jira service desk or maybe confluence and also bitbucket so uh, let me do one thing first let me show you the billing uh, of uh, my uh, of my cloud instance because i just want to show you uh, how it works i mean the plans that uh, you can uh, use on the cloud so if you go to the billing section you will be uh, taken to a place or a section where you can change the plan if you have to change the plan if you're using maybe a free version or maybe a standard version so right now if i look at the manage subscription option here on the left hand side i can take a look at uh, the uh, the billing estimate and of course i'm using a free version of uh, everything so i'm not really paying anything the bill estimate is zero but uh, the important thing here is to understand that you can also use confluence uh, for free and I'm of course using a free version of Confluence and uh, honestly I'm not sure uh, if uh, the free version is uh, uh, I mean how how much is uh, different in the free version of uh, Confluence maybe we can do a quick uh, evaluation if we go to the Atlassian website we can go to the pricing of uh, Confluence and we can probably take a look at the table Usually there is a table for a comparison table for Jira where it is very clearly mentioned that you cannot do these things on the cloud for free in the free plan. Let us see if we have something similar for Confluence. So if I click on the pricing option on top for Confluence, uh, let me see if I can uh, take a look at uh, this table. So yes, there is a table and uh, even on the cloud uh, version, the permission is not there so the very next thing uh, of, apart from uh, unlimited spaces and pages is uh, the inability to create a i mean to manage the page and space permission which is fine i think uh, uh, i mean to be honest we don't really uh, i mean for free i'm sure you can live without uh, the permissions and uh, more or less uh, i think if you have unlimited spaces if you're able to integrated with jira i think that should be more than enough so let us go back to the uh, to the instance to the application and uh, if we switch to the confluence application we can start using it so what i will do i'll click on the link and uh, on top you can see here that the url has this suffix called wiki so everything that you do after wiki or you know your atlassian uh, cloud instance slash wiki uh, is nothing but your confluence so right now we are in the confluence and uh, the interface is quite similar to jira which is fine uh, we also have the update from uh, the uh, jira i believe because it will show us all the projects that are getting created i believe or maybe something else uh, we have this activity feed which is fine but i want to actually create a, a space just like you have a project in Jira, you have a space in Confluence and when you create a space, you have to use a template. So we have, of course, a lot of templates that you can uh, use. Let us click on this link called uh, six new items have been added. So I believe there are more uh, templates. So the first option is a blank space, personal space, documentation space, knowledge base, software project space, team space. So basically you have the option to use these predefined templates and uh, let us uh, use maybe uh, a software project space and if you click on it you can uh, click on the next button and uh, you can link it to a project which is good maybe you want to link it to your uh, 
project in Jira. And when you link it to your project in Jira, you will have the uh, integration already in place. And you can do a few things like view the Jira status information in your Confluence page. You can create a report within Confluence and you can have those uh, gadgets, your familiar Jira gadgets like pie chart, and of course, a few other gadgets that you can view in Confluence, but you can also write on top of it. So basically, you can have maybe a customized report where you have the real-time information of your Jira project, and you can probably build some reports. You can write some, brief, you know, some write-up or maybe a brief, and you can prepare uh, your own customized reports with your own custom text. So let us uh, link it to bug tracking uh, project in Jira, and. Uh, the space permissions is not enabled, which is something that we know already. If you click on the create button, we will have a new space with uh, some template. And I just want to see how this template, uh, uh, I mean, how it looks like. So when you click on the button, you will have a space ready for you. And uh, it says uh, welcome to your new software project space. And uh, you can do a few things like uh, you can take a look at this template template already and uh, the good thing is that uh, it will uh, create a roadmap for us of course you can modify it if you want edit this roadmap planner uh, and uh, you can uh, uh, also uh, i mean i just want to click on it and uh, i just want to see how it uh, behaves so if i take a look at a different uh, uh, issues that are actually coming from jira and this table is actually uh, showing me the information of the Jira issues, which is real time. So I have uh, this BT-4, BT-3 and so on. And this is, I believe, my uh, uh, my Jira task. And this is a bug. And I, I can see the information about the status, the assignee and the resolution. And this is a real time uh, table. And uh, you can, of course, modify this uh, welcome page if you want. And uh, the good thing about this, uh, uh, this roadmap is that you can uh, change it and you can uh, maybe uh, link it to your actual activities in uh, Jira. And uh, I think this is a good place where you can start <clears throat> planning something before you move to Jira. So <clears throat> when you have a space, you can start uh, creating a page. So if you click on the plus sign on the left hand side, you can uh, create a page within a space. So uh, again, when you, cre when you create a page uh, within a space, the space right now is bug tracking you will have the option to again select a type of a page. So this is a bit similar to Jira when you have Jira <coughs> projects. Your projects can have a purpose or maybe it can have some kind of a template or set of configurations like software development scrum or maybe Kanban or service desk or maybe simple bug tracking. But within that particular project, you have the option to create different type of issues using of course issue types. And based on the issue types, you have the option to uh, basically, uh, you know, fill in the fields that are re relevant and the workflows can be different for those issue types. So we have something <clears throat> similar here uh, and we have, I believe, uh, different templates and these templates will uh, will let you do something uh, based on some uh, predefined text or maybe a format. So you can create a blank page. Let us create a <clears throat> blank uh, page very quickly. And when you, when you click on the blank page, uh, you can, of course, uh, I mean, it is very, very, very simple. You just need to enter your page title, like uh, welcome to my page. This is my title and I can have like a like a detailed body. This is my body. And you can do a lot of things here because on top you have the option to do formatting. And there are a lot of different things that you can do here. You can uh, insert some macros and macros will add uh, you know, some power to your page. Macro, using a macro, you can add uh, Jira reports that will show you the Jira report status, uh, or maybe you can display a pie chart within your page. So we'll, we'll of course, uh, take a look at it uh, when the time comes. In this video, we are just doing a quick, uh, quick uh, check on uh, how Confluence, the free version of Confluence uh, works. So we can create a blank page, which is nothing but a page title and a body. But if I click on, let us say meeting notes, or maybe product requirements, maybe you're working on some software and you want to start working on the requirements first. So when you click on this uh, product requirement, I believe uh, the template will be uh, quite different. And uh, let us wait for it to load completely. 
<clears throat> so so far it looks similar to no it it doesn't it, it doesn't look similar to a blank page you have of course on top uh, your uh, your title so you can have a title like project requirement and you can fill in some text you can have uh, maybe your target release uh, uh, date or maybe you know some kind of a version maybe you want to release it in version one or maybe uh, you want to re release it by a specific date so you can actually uh, uh, use this uh, to uh, create some kind of a requirement document and you can uh, of course uh, do some brainstorming when you're working in confluence people can collaborate they can add comment and so on and you can also link it to maybe your epic in uh, jira and of course uh, for doing this uh, integration you need to uh, maybe either use a macro or maybe uh, uh, you need to first make sure that uh, you have a project linked to your your space and uh, this is something that uh, will uh, really help you because when you are using this uh, integration of uh, jira issues and your uh, confluence document uh, the good thing about uh, this uh, this information here is that you can view the real time status of the tickets so if you have to let us say link it to a specific epic you can just search for the epic name and uh, of course we have a lot of different epics but but we just want to insert maybe one maybe sp6 and if, if i click on the insert uh, you will see this uh, one epic inserted here in my confluence page and i can i can view the uh, the id which is fine i can view the summary and the status so this is really good and uh, i can have a document status and so on so this is basically a template for you that you can use and of course you can modify your uh, i mean you can you can modify this template and and the good thing is that you can also create your own templates maybe this is a good starting point for you to start uh, using a template but uh, you maybe you want a custom temp maybe you want uh, some kind of a table or maybe you want more information so you always have the option to modify this uh, this template or maybe create your new templates so we'll continue looking at confluence uh, i don't really make a lot of videos on confluence uh, because confluence is uh, i mean um, as compared to jira it is definitely a lot simpler tool to use it is very intuitive and uh, and to learn j uh, to, to learn a tool like confluence you don't really need to spend too much time uh, but i think uh, since we are now making a lot of videos since i'm making a lot of videos on on jira cloud i think it's a good opportunity to also use this time to start introducing confluence uh, in our uh, in our in our playlist of learning uh, atlassian tools so we'll continue looking at uh, confluence and uh, we'll uh, take a look at uh, what all you can do with uh, this integration of Conf confluence and jira and uh, how you can use effectively confluence in your organization for uh, maybe doing some brainstorming or maybe uh, you want to use it for document management not really document management for maybe for knowledge management or maybe you want to use it for collaboration within your team or maybe you just want to use it for building a report so we'll spend more time on confluence later on and uh, in this video i just wanted to quickly uh, initiate and start using confluence uh, along with jira cloud so i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much